Okay, we give thanks. Happy Sunday to those who are tuned in live, those who watch this as a replay. We give thanks for this moment in time for us to come together as light minds, raising our frequency towards divinity. I was recording and my recording stopped, but before it stopped, I was asking individuals to reflect and say, what are you grateful for right here in the now? Because oftentimes we can be caught up in desires and visions and dreams and what we want. And we can forget that there's only this moment right here and right now. That's it. And this moment determines your next moment. And that moment determines the next moment. So only focus on the here and the now. And own the now. Own it. Own the here and the now. What does own mean? I'm all, I don't know. I just jumped to this. So let's go. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I'm vibing with what's coming to me as a divine inspiration. Can you all see my screen? I want you all to see what own me. Own the moment of the now. Own the moment of the now. What does own? What is it to own? What is it to own? Listen to what this says. Properly or exclusively belonging to one's self or itself. Own the now exclusively belong to the now. Listen, y'all, y'all say I say amen, I mean, or something. If you feel me and you're picking up what I'm putting down, <laughs> exclusively belong to the now. Now, hold on, y'all ready for your mind to be blown? We, it's on now, we don't press record, I guess it's on. Let's look at the, the etymology of now. Look at this. Hold up. Oh, hold up. Hold up. I got some for you. I got some for you. I got some for you. Look at what now mean, y'all. We can't make this up. Now, what does it mean? Look at this. New. Look at this. Roots of new. At the present time, at this moment, immediately. Now that, from Pi New, listen, perhaps originally, listen to this, perhaps originally newly and related to the root of new. On the new, on the now. The now is the new. Here's the issue. We don't want to own the now because we're worried about, we thinking about the past, we're focusing on the past and worried about the future. Own the here and the now, it creates, it washes out the past and creates the, the uh, future. Listen, what you perceive to be the future. New, made or established for the first time. <laughs> oh Lord, the Baptist evangelist is coming out this morning. <laughs> Uh, or the Baptist professor, one of them, one out of the two, or, or a combination of all of them. Listen, made or established for the first time, fresh, recently made or grown, novel, unheard of, different from the old, untried, inexperienced, unused. <laughs> give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Own the here and the now. Yes, own is the same, Less Own and the now is the same. You see it, sis? We won't even get into the uh, numerology of it. We ain't even gonna go. I'm not gonna go. I don't have the time. This is not class. Y'all came on here to meditate. And we already passed the time that I used to usually hold y'all. Is, is it all right? Can I keep going? I can, I can, I can tame myself. I really can. <laughs> Sometimes y'all don't help me. You know, y'all just be letting me go and then I'll be gone. <laughs> but own the now. That's the word of the day. Own the here and the now. How do we get to that space? Because when you are in gratitude, you are owning the here and the now. Because most of the time when you moving out of gratitude, what is it? You mad about a moment that has passed or you worried about a moment that ain't even here yet. 
But if you own the here and the now, and you know that the now is new, what is there not to be grateful for? Every moment is a new moment. Every moment is a new moment. Every moment is a moment you can dip into infinite potentiality. Every moment is a moment that you can dip into, plug into, remember dormant potentiality. Dormant potentiality is in the now, is in the new, own it. What did it say? Make it exclusively one's self. Exclusively. You know what that word means? Listen. Gratitude is so key. And in order for us to stay in gratitude, it is essential for us to own the right now. And so when you own the now, when you make it exclusively yours, you're making it, you're surrendering it to not does your making it yours. You are not a you like that. Let's be clear. I want to clarify. You are not a you like that. You are the I am or the I in physical expression. You are the presence of God as physical expression. God is expressing itself through you as you. And so when you own the moment, you're surrendering the moment to the presence of the almighty. When you do that, you're surrendering the moment. The presence of the almighty is grace, is mercy, is abundance, is healing, is renewal, is infinity, is eternity. There is no way you are surrendering it to the presence of God if when you surrender, you still mad, sad, scared, resentful, worried, shame. So owning the now, that's what owning the now means. Owning the new, making exclusively yours the moment of newness. Meaning I'm surrendering everything, I'm exclusively, I'm surrendering all other things and allowing just the I to be present. working through me as me. And so in this new moment of now, all that is me, all of my thoughts, my territory, the desires, the visions, the dreams, the concerns, the, all of these different things, I'm surrendering it all, I'm taking my hands off. And so what I'm gonna do as a beautiful co-creator in the process of creation, I'm gonna rest in prayer, affirmation, meditation, joy, serenity, peace. That's what I'm gonna do, that's my job. So while the Most High is at work, I'm gonna do the very best that I can to stay in a space of my art. Lightheartedness, where your heart can weigh balance with a feather. I want y'all to buy a feather or pick up one, I don't know. And every time you get concerned, I used to have these peacock, oh, I still have these peacock feathers over here. Hold on, hold your mule. Hold your mule. Why do I have these peacock feathers? Hold your mule. Hold your mule. Why do I keep these? I'm, you know. Because when people get their energy clearings, I want them to feel how light this feather is. I hardly can feel it. If I put this on the scale, I don't, I don't think it'll move. <laughs> I don't think it'll move. How light this is. And so when I lay it on, I, when I brush it over them as I'm doing their clearing, I want them to connect with how light that is. Deep breath into your heart. And I want you to allow it to lighten as much as this feather is light. That's what your heart, let your heart be light. Your heart is the center of your consciousness and it's the, it's the home of the presence of God. Let it be light. When your heart is heavy, it's like, you, it's like when you go in the house and you filling it up with all this stuff, just you know, like you taking a 10 bedroom house and stuffing it into a one bedroom uh, dwelling. Presence of God in there like, wait a minute. Oh, my child, oh, ye of little faith. 
You know, so many utterances in the Bible, like, come on, you know, peace be still. Let your, this is our job. Let your heart be light. Whatever it is, it's done. Whatever it is, it is done. Shura is done. Aisha is done. Anita is done. Colleen is done. Cressida is done. Crystal is done. Erica is done. Isaiah is done. Jaki, I hope I pronounced that right, is done. Destiny is done. Jojo is done. Mariama, did I say that right? Mariama or Mariama is done. Mona is done. Nakia is done. Natalie is done. Natalia, I'm sorry, is done. Paige is done. Sadara is done. Shireen is done. Stephanie is done. Tanya, guess what? It's done. Terry is done. Tessra, you already know it. It's done. Trina, is done. So if it's done, why not? Let your heart be light. Shine, baby, shine. So that we got to show up. <laughs> oh, I just got tingles in my whole body. Lord, help me. Well, my water. <laughs> Let me calm myself down. Wait a minute. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay, I just had to calm down. <laughs> Woo! I be knowing why them people take off in church. <laughs> I was never that one, but inside of me, that was me. <laughs> But I definitely had a whole handful in my church growing up. They would take off. I don't care how, if some of them were little, most of them would be. They running though. I ain't never seen nobody run that fast in my life. That whoa, when the spirit move, when you think, when I think about the goodness, hmm, and all he's done for me, my soul's cries out, hallelujah. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Lord, okay, hold on, hold on. Hmm. Shine your light so when God show up and show out, you can shine as God working through you. Not for your shine, not for your glory, but for the sake of the Almighty. The only reason why the Almighty wants to see itself, that's how it's said in the Bible. The only reason why the Almighty wants to see itself is so all of the universes around you can see God through you. Why would you wait on the last level of manifestation to shine your light? Are you one that shines your light only when you see the last level of manifestation, which is the physical form? Only? Shine it when it's at its highest level, when it comes to your mind as an imagination, as a divine inspiration. Give thanks for that. Like, oh, me? That's these days. That's how we feel. Like, oh, me? Okay. I'm with it. However it shows up, I'm with it. Show me the way. I'm here. When I start getting away, I tell myself, get out the way. Get out the way. Move out the way. Give thanks. Give thanks. The word today is own the now. Be masters of the now. Be masters of the now. In that ayat that I mentioned earlier, uh, it's translated as master of the day of judgment. The day of judgment is the now. Now, every moment is the day of judgment, okay? Right now. Be masters of the day of judgment. Be masters of the, the here and the now. And that's the new, that is the new. We give thanks for that word and that clarity. Was that clarity for somebody today? I pray that that was clarity for somebody today. Owning the here and the now, owning to properly or exclusively belong to oneself or itself. Exclusively. And the now, you pull it up the now, right? What is the now? The now is this moment. Let's just run it back. Review. Here's the review. Okay. In case you get quizzed this week. 
<laughs> this is the review cheat sheet in case we get quiz what is the the now the now is at the present time at this moment immediately now that it goes down to uh originally newly recently the root of new related to the root of new and what is new new is made or established for the first time no moment is a is the same as yesterday stop allowing it to be fresh recently made or grown different from the old untried unused ashe now if we think about it like that how does the now feel to you now how does it feel to you now considering all of those things that we consider sometimes the things that happen to us in our childhood the things that happened to us yesterday the things that we want to happen tomorrow the things now that we know this meaning of this word now um owning the now being present in the moment that's another way people say it be present in the moment be here in the now okay but let's elevate that to own be masters of own the now own the blessing of the newness in every moment imagine if you thought like that tell me right now what would elevate in your life put it in the chat room please what would elevate in your life as soon as you allow it to be renewed in the moment as soon as you allow it to be what it is right now which means it is new right now what in your life will change if you look at it as new right now if you let it be cloaked in the newness of now what will change what will change that should clean up a lot of mindsets <laughs> right everything will change <laughs> everything my joy would elevate Ashe, peace. Somebody said, releasing all the pressures. More harmony, someone says. A complete perspective shift. Complete. Finances will elevate. It's a new moment. Because in that newness, there is no limitation in newness. There is no, mm, it says, like it says, unused. There is no like boredom in newness. There is no uh, feeling of despair in newness. Someone said dynamic health. Someone also said removing stagnation and procrastination. Someone said health and healing would change. Someone said my life simply. <laughs> Healthy happiness, peace, joy, prosperity, and freedom. If we just own the here and the now. I want to close the review with let's remember what own, uh, owning it is. Owning it is surrendering it to the I, the presence of God within you. Let me remind us of what the presence of God is, the aspects of it, the characteristics of the presence of God. It is omniscient it is divinely intelligent <laughs> it is graceful peaceful the divine harmonizer the exalter it's the lower the abaser the thing the thing that lowers us so that we can be exalted the presence of god is that so when a situation come about in your in your mind, Trina says hesitation and second guessing. I'm just and I'm about to give an example of that. When a situation comes to your mind, the presence of God lowers you so that the presence of God can be exalted in that situation. But that's only if you own the here and the now. So that means take your mind off of it, what it was, what you thought it's gonna be, what you think it's gonna be, what you don't know if it's gonna be, all of that in the moment, just Surrender it and remember God. I acknowledge that the presence of God is real. 
I acknowledge as a pre- that the presence of God is the center of my consciousness. It is within me. The kingdom of God is within me. It manifests as divine intelligence, divine guidance, inner guidance, intuition, discernment. It manifests as divine grace, divine mercies. It manifests as divine calibration, connections. And so I am reminding the self that it is not, it's not my will that need to be done, but the Almighty's will. That if I allow the Almighty's will to be done in this situation, there is nothing greater that can be. Shay, that is on in the now. I pray that that prayer that was just channeled is helpful. For when we face situations, when we face desires, when we face all of these things that come with this human carnal experience, it comes with that. You know, I don't believe in good and bad. It is what it is. We give thanks for it. As we continue to elevate, we pray that everything will elevate, that our desires will be in servitude of the will of God. That our yearnings and anything that that fuels us, that fires up us up, will essentially be what will will essentially be a fire up for being an expression of God. That's what I pray. But until then, or as that's happening, <laughs> no worries. Just own the now. So talk to the self. Talk to the self. Somebody, some way, say we shouldn't talk to ourselves. It sounds crazy, but I say. Talk to yourself. Talk to the self. You hear me say, talk to the self. Talk to the self. Because the self has tendencies, habits, addictions, appetites, things that you got from your mama, your baba, your bloodline, the collective punches, the duh, 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 duh. So just continue to talk to the self. Hey, self, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Calm down. Remember, it's not your will. It's not your will. You are safe. You are under the presence of God always. The presence of God is with you always. As Jacob said, his revelation was like, oh, I realized, oh, how silly was I? We are always in the presence of God. I know it now. So as we climb that ladder, as we keep climbing and on that journey, Remind yourself, because it's in the for, it's in the forgetfulness that's natural for a human. It's in the forgetfulness that we face those struggles, strife and pain that we face. Because when we remember, we take that deep breath, most of that pain go away. I say, I say. I pray this was a word that was resonant to you. I give thanks for this word, the owning, the here and the now. I pray that we're able to do that, that we have a full understanding of how, an understanding of how to do that, and that will become the flow of life for us, that we will release the notion of the past, the notion of the future, and be in what is real and what is present, and that is the now, the newness of each moment, steeped in dormant potentiality, infinite potentiality. And know that we are never trapped. We are never failing. We are never wrong. That if we are to remember, if we are to remember, we can immediately come back in alignment with that dormant potentiality and that infinity of life. And we give thanks, I say, all right, y'all. Let y'all hearts be light. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do some meditation before we go. I ain't gonna close out right now. We're gonna meditate. I affirm that I am healthy, happy, peaceful, joyful, loving, prosperous, and free. Ashe. Ashe. Give thanks. Give thanks. All right. So since we have these feathers and I'm advocating for you to lighten your heart, we will set the intention for this meditation to help lighten the heart. That's always a great intention for our meditations. And so let's move into this meditation with the intention again 
of this meditation helping you to totally lighten your heart. Imagining that your heart is as light as a feather. Imagining that your heart is as light as a feather. No weight whatsoever. Your only, only thing you feel is the presence of this feather. You just feel the presence of the heart. But there is no heaviness of it. There is no heaviness of it. And the heart is the home of the presence of God. I heard just recently it say, we don't, you know, the self has what it perceives to be heart's desires, but the only heart's desire is for you to surrender. The only true heart's desire is for you to surrender. And remember, what is the heart? The heart is the presence of God. The only desire of the presence of God is for you to surrender to it. Okay. So yeah, the self may have all of these desires and all of that, but if we bring it all the way down to the most purest formation, the only heart's presence of God desire is for us to surrender to it, to its peace, to its abundance, to its joy, to its infinity, surrender to it. And we do that by lightening our hearts. So let us move into our meditations. You don't have to see me, but you do need to hear me. As we get ready to settle in for the meditation, begin to engage the breath. Taking deep breaths in through the nose, releasing it through the nose or mouth, whichever one is comfortable. Slowing the breath all the way down, allowing the heart rate to slow down. And relax. As you inhale, allow the body to expand, opening up all stagnant energy. And as you exhale, allowing the body to relax. Centering that inhale to the heart space, expand the chest, open up the heart with that inhale. Maybe hold that breath for a few seconds. And when you're ready, slowly, slowly, slowly exhale. With every inhale, expand that chest, expand that heart space and slowly exhale. Continue to inhale and exhale, relaxing all parts of the body, your shoulders, your arms. Allow your hips to release, relax. A lot of times the stress and strains of life settle into our joints, into our hips, into our lower backs. So if you're feeling any of those pains, focus that inhale into those areas, expand in those areas, and slowly exhale.
So just continue to inhale and exhale and relax as I read this meditation to you from the book Effectual Prayer, from the chapter Relaxation in God. It is said, look unto me and be ye saved, all ye ends of the earth. Listen to the message that spirit speaks to the flesh and listening, perceive and obey. Scalp and hair, relax. Let the life and beauty and glory of the most high crown you. I am overshadowed by the angel of his presence and there is continually being poured out upon my shower, upon me showers of blessings that far exceed in number than the hairs of my head. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. I am open to receive all of my blessings in ever increasing measures of livingness. Forehead, relax. You need not be tense and wrinkled for anxiety, worry, for I put my trust in the Almighty. Its name, O oh Father, written within my heart, sets a seal in my forehead, which is my protection from all evil and error. Eyes relax. All the muscles and nerves in and around the eyes relax. That physical weakness may pass and spiritual strength and life flow in. Mine eyes are ever towards the Almighty, that I may behold the beauty of his countenance and the riches of his kingdom. Keep, O oh Lord, this lamp of my body single, that I may see the good only in person, circumstance, and thing, and my whole body be lighted with thy glory. Continue to inhale and exhale, relax. Nose, relax. Let the spirit of God in my nostrils make keen that discrimination given me in the garden, that I may choose the good and leave the evil, the error. The breath of the Almighty giveth me life. Mouth, relax. Let go of all error words that you may be an instrument through which the beloved speaks. Set a watch, O oh God, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Relax. All the muscles and nerves around the mouth that the corners may turn up and out picture the inner joy of the heart and the sweetness in the soul. Ears relax that all spiritual deafness may pass from me that I may hear the guiding and directing voice of spirit. I am not rebellious over anything past or present. I am meek, lowly, willing and obedient. And my inner ear is attuned to catch the slightest message from the omniscient guide. Front brain, relax. I am not headstrong. Therefore, I do not suffer from splitting headaches. My human intelligence is merged in the divine. 
When I lack wisdom, I seek entrance to thy omniscient mind. O knower of all things, and thou dost give to me liberally of thy great knowledge and infinite understanding. Base of brain and spinal cord, relax. Let the peace that passes understanding flow through you and out from you into every center of the body. I establish thy tree of life in the midst of the garden of my soul. O Almighty, and its leaves wither not, neither does its fruit perish or decay. Its beauty shall be to me as an olive tree planted by the rivers of waters and the freshness that comes from the river of life flowing into my soul keeps me eternally young. Vertebrae, relax. Relax to the strength center at the small of my back. Let divine strength pour through you into mind and body, making strong all weak decisions, redeeming all weak sensations. Relax, vertebrae, to the elimination center at the tip of the spine. Let me eliminate all errors from mind and body. Let all inharmonies pass into outer nothingness. Thy purity, O spirit, cleanses every physical weakness and makes strong every vital part of my being. All old accumulations are eliminated from mind and body and I am eternally free. Neck, relax. Be an open channel through which the river of life may flow to and fro in perfect circulation through the garden of God. Let me not in any way, at any time, be stiff-necked, superior, proud, but let me be poised and gracious in a consciousness of oneness with all. Throat, relax, that the power center in you may be baptized from on high. All power is given me in mind, body, and affairs through my consciousness of the abiding presence of God within my own soul. Shoulders, relax and let go of all responsibilities that the great burden bearer may draw near and lift the load. Thou, O oh God, will sustain and uphold me, for thy yoke is easy, thy burden light. In thee I trust and find surrender from labor and rest to my soul. Arms to the elbows, relax. Elbows to the wrists, relax. Wrists to the tips of the fingers, relax. In all that you do, do as unto the Lord and you shall be swift to do good and quick to execute righteousness. I am quiet, open, receptive, that I may be used by the master and that his law of giving and receiving may be fulfilled in me continually. Chest, relax, expand. Lungs, relax that the inspiration of the Almighty may fill you with each breath. Let me breathe in and breathe out the breath of God itself until I become a living soul. Stomach, relax. The providing law of God, my Father, is active in me and for me. Therefore, I take no anxiety or anxious thought what I shall eat or what I shall drink. I agree. 
with my food and it agrees with me. I drink of the life and eat of the substance of God body. I do not worry. I am not sensitive. I do not fear, but I rest in the bosom of the Almighty in peace and in joy. Liver, relax, and let go of the bondage imposed on you by the criticisms and condemnations of the human intellect. I do not judge according to appearances, but I do judge and am judged according to the judgment of the righteous one. Abdomen, relax. Relax all the vital organs within your walls. Let the great physician have his perfect way in you. Let the great surgeon rectify all inharmonies. Let all physical waste be eliminated. Let the waters of life cleanse you. Thou, O oh Father, who art rich in compassion and mercy, quicken thy mercy and compassion through me and towards me. Generative organs relax. All the thoughts of my mind and the desires of my life are lifted up through the consciousness of the indwelling Christ and the river of life flowing freely through me, cleanses and renews every atom of my being. I thank thee, O oh God, for the regenerating, purifying process now, right now, taking place in me making me a new creature through and through. Hips, relax. You are not weighted down by the burdens of the body. Neither am I weighted down by the cares of life. Through the realization of the presence of Christ, the great burden bearer, I am eternally young and free. Thighs to the knees, relax. Thou, O oh God, have made firm the weak knees. Knees to the ankles, relax. I am continually upheld because I know that underneath are the everlasting arms. Ankles to the tips of the toes, relax. I walk quietly before the Lord, therefore I am strong. The oil of divine love lubricates all the joints of my body, dissolves all hardness and harmonizes mind and body to express according to the perfect pattern of the almighty. Mm, boy, I must. Feet, relax. That you slip not from the path of perfect expression. My understanding is now at one with divine mind. Because, O oh Christ, thou has plucked my feet out of a net and set them on a rock and established my going. I mount on wings as the eagle. I run and I am never weary. I walk and faint not. Heart, relax. Heart. Relax, heart, relax, that there may be wiped from you all bitterness, all hardness, all hatred, by the forgiving love of the Almighty. Love never faileth, neither do you, filled with the love of God. Fail in any of your functions. God is the strength of my heart, and each cell in my heart partakes of this strength. I have set up that throne in my heart, O King of my life, and my flesh rests in hope. My heart continually rejoices because I am at peace with everything. 
solar plexus, sun of my soul, light of my body, shine out the glory of thy creator into every part of my being, that I may be restored to the perfect image and likeness, to the perfect pattern in the mount, my eternal birthright and heritage from my Father God. Here in this space, rest until all the words that have been stated have become flesh and dwell in the different parts of your body. Give thanks for the Almighty. Let the inner song of praise, which the soul already knows, find its way into your thoughts and hold the vision to the high watch as the daily duties are again taken up. My Father, my Creator, Thou whose likeness I am, whose image I bear, let my mind comprehend Thy beauty and purity. My body radiate it, my life express it to Thy glory. May I let go of every thought every desire, every material possession, which hinders this perfection becoming my own. I am open and receptive to the river of thy cleansing and renewing, and it flows through and through me, making me a new creature in Christ, every withhold. Ashe. As we get ready to close, let's take a few more deep breaths in through the nose. Allowing it to release, giving thanks for the words, giving thanks for the truth, giving thanks for the reminders, <laughs> giving thanks for the clarity. In every word that has been stated, rest in your heart. Be stimulated and activated in your mind. And may you be able to walk in this truth easily as you are children of the almighty, divine beings by nature. Ashe, Ashe. Coming back to this present moment, maybe by wiggling your fingers and toes, giving yourself a little stretch. And within yourself or out loud, utter amen, amen, Ashe, namaste. Thanks. Thanks. Ooh, that was good. It's not, it's not. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're going to close with a little muji. So hang tight. We got to close. I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all go. Wasn't that amazing? That was dynamic. That meditation came from uh, the book Effect Effectual Prayer. It's a book study we did uh, either last year, I believe. Um, and that, one, that meditation is one of the meditations in there, in the chapter Relaxation. Um, give thanks. I am working on creating a full playlist on YouTube of all of the meditations in that book. I've been working on it for a minute. I'm almost done, <laughs> but it's going to be there so that you can just press play and vibe with it, with them when you feel like it or when you need to. Okay. So we give thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in and staying put till we close. Let's close with a word from Baba Muji. If you have the book, White Fire, this is on page 192, passage 375. He says, you as ego cannot really care for yourself. A power has already announced itself. I am here inside, trust. A, chain, a change has come over you and you can no longer be the old self. Don't make any conclusions at all. Just be aware. 
of this silence inner presence and completely surrender in it. You need not be concerned anymore about what shape life takes. Leave it all to the power and presence of God. We can't make this up. Boy, Baba Muji come with it every time, don't he? It's like, you want to close it out? Here we go. Bam. <laughs> oh, give thanks. Bless his heart. Protect his body and his mind and his spirit. I'm going to run that back. You, as ego, cannot really care for yourself. A power has already announced itself. I am here, inside, trust. A change has come over you and you can no longer be the old self. Don't make any conclusions at all. Just be aware of this silent inner presence and completely surrender in it. You need not be concerned anymore about what shape life takes. Leave it all to the power and presence of God. I shave you, I shave you, thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. Somebody said a praise dance, hallelujah. <laughs> give thanks. Uh, thank you for the appreciation. I really give thanks, I really give thanks. Give thanks for this time, this space. Thank y'all for hanging with me. Y'all home with me for a couple of hours. Give thanks. I don't be meaning to hold you, but you know it is what it is. Um, so give thanks. If you would like to bless the ministry, bless your sister, whatever, however you may desire to bless, um, there are ways that you can do so on the same page that you logged on. On my website, there's an area where you can give a love offering. Um, I give thanks for the financial love offerings, but I also give thanks for you all's prayers, you all's love, you know, you all's light. I give thanks for them. And so you may do that again at that link, um, the Sunday Fellowship link on my website. And I give thanks in advance for that support. Believe it or not, uh, it is very helpful, um, whatever the amount may be. And I am one that don't turn down a genuine, earnest prayer for your sister. Keep your sister in your prayers. Uh, keep my mind in your prayers, my heart in your prayers. As we just on we on the same journey walking each other home, let me tell you. Okay? <laughs> so, you know, that's the reason why I know about Muji. That's the reason why I know about Abraham. Here. That's why. Because what the teacher teaches, what the teacher most need to learn. Okay? You ever heard that? What the teacher teaches, what the teacher most need to learn. So whoever attracted to this ministry in this classroom, we all on the same boat, y'all. It's just the most I done called me to be the teacher with the homegirl vibe and the mama spirit, <laughs> you know, and the, and the relatable vibration. That's all. That's all it is, you know, but we all on the same journey. Sometimes some customers and clients, but it ain't easy, Queen. I know. If you ask me, I'm going to tell you, I know. <laughs> so I feel for you. That's why I'm always trying to give you a nice little warm hug and try to pray over you and love on you and sing you some meditation and encourage you and all of that because I know the journey. I know what it feels like when you make that leap and you scared out your mind. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like. I know when you have developed an attachment with people and then you have to let them people go. Ooh, I know what that feel like. I know parents. I know how it feel like when you 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 just trying to be mama, you just trying to be baba, and you don't know how. To, I know what it feel like to have to let that go. I know. I know what it feel like to be disrespected or feel like you're being disrespected. I know what it feel like to to be just misjudged and misused and underappreciated. I know. But in God, you got to, we are not here for our carnal man, our ego to feel good. We're here to be a light. So lighten the heart. Let it roll off your shoulders. She ain't mean no harm. He ain't mean no harm. These children weren't born into this world to get on your last nerves. They wouldn't. They, they wouldn't. Let it go. They going to be all right. <laughs> 
And guess what? They got a divine destiny themselves that they got to walk through. You just keep on praying and handle life from a spiritual core. I don't want you all to write that down so you can remember. This is the age of Aquarius. We ain't moving out of this age no time soon. We are elevating. A lot of stuff we're experiencing, we're going to be experiencing for some years. Some of this cleaning up and purifying and burning out going to happen for some time because we need some real cleaning up happening. So let me remind you right now, handle life from a spiritual core, okay? If you were bailing against the utterance, pray about it. You need to get it together because you better pray about it. Pray on it, speak on it, watch your mouth, watch your imaginings. Words have sound and power and they create. Thoughts become things. Mind becomes matter. So when you hear that troubling news, watch your mouth. Watch your mind, wash your mind. Cause you, my dear, may be a cause of the struggle. While you, I'm just, I'm just so worried about you. I just care so much about you. Well, hush and give God the glory right now. How about you do that? If you can't shout with me, I don't want to deal with you. Don't appease my carnal ego with mine. Don't do that. I feel you, girl, because if it was me, I don't want to know all of that. I want you to tell the error in me to hush. Peace be still. Come on, girl. Let's go praise. Praise him. Let's go do that. Them the type of friends we want. Them the type of people we want to vibe with. Not the people who be ready to trauma bond, waiting on you to talk about the trauma and the drama. Block them. Delete them. Delete the Facebook group, unfollow them. All right, now I was supposed to end. So I'm saying this and I'm saying it loud and a little passion. Quit playing with yourself or quit playing yourself. We are more powerful than we think, especially us women, especially us womb men. Can we please step up? Can we please allow our power to shine through and help this world out? Prayer groups, stand up. Prayer warriors, do your job. Meditators, meditate. Practice your practice. Continue to do it. I ain't fussing as if we ain't. I'm just saying let us continue to do it. A lot of the ways we were able to make it through is because a lot of our ancestors had prayer circles. The church I grew up in had prayer warriors, okay? They had to take a class before they stood. The pastor knew when she needed to call up the prayer warriors. They would have four of them, two in the front corners, two in the back corners, and she go at it. She got the bottles of oil slanging it. <laughs> she laying hands. Ain't nobody cute no more. All the church hats go off, shoes done been off, and all the sheets come out. Let's go. Okay? We ain't talking about it no more. We ain't fussing about it no more. We ain't whining about it no more. Let's go. I done seen in my childhood people get up out of wheelchairs. People's sons getting released from prison who had life sentences. So no, I don't go against the church. There may be things that we were miseducated about or whatnot, but whether we knew or not, we was in the spirit. So now imagine having a great understanding of what we're talking about and you get in the spirit and act up like our folks acted up. Okay, let's not get too cute. Okay. You stress, get up, walk around that house, open your mouth, sing whatever song come out. I don't care how much you think it's nice or what else. Get up, walk around that house and proclaim your glory and your victory. Child of the almighty, the creator, the great harmonizer, the grace, the mercy. What? 
the exalter come on now own the now make it exclusively yours it's mine i say okay y'all because i can go another hour i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go <laughs> Give thanks. Thank you all so much. For real, for real. I'm here. If you're in Atlanta, you can stop by. I'll be here till four. Uh, if you do honor Father's Day, happy Father's Day to you. Uh, or happy Father's Day to your fathers. You know, if you do honor, if you do hang out with your fathers on this day. And we give thanks for the supreme Father God that resides in our heart. And that fathers over us, protects us, provides for us, guides us. That's a happy Father's Day, okay? Call out and give thanks for the Father, the Father energy, the Father reality that resides in us and resides over us, the presence of God in us. That's what we call Father. When we say Father God, we give thanks for your presence, your protection, your glory, your your. I, you know, my father, he, he's such a bobble. Every time he answers the phone, he say, hey, my beautiful first daughter. And I mean, my mom used to always tell me stories how he would take me and she'd be like, what? She'll call him, be like, where you at? Oh, I just go, why you took her out of the house? And she said he would just be, he would take me with him everywhere he'd go. He would let me dress you up and he'll take me with. The fathers, the ones who are present in heart and mind, they love their children. They love their daughters. They love their sons. That is the Father God presence with us. It's jealous over you. It's yearning to provide for you whatever it is that you want, including the sadness. All you got to do is think on it, speak on it, vibrate on it, and it's yours. Allow, allow the harmony, allow the peace, allow the joy. All right, y'all. Peace and love. Happy Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. <laughs>